Helene and Hayden's gonna show you guys how to make ginatan. It's a Filipino dessert. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. And today, we're baking ginatan. <laughs> and who's gonna help you make ginatan? Mommy! Alright, to make the ginatan, we're gonna need one can of coconut milk. We have these tapioca pearls that I've already pre made because these take sugar. quite a bit of time just to make. Or cook. We got saba, which is a banana. It's different than a regular old banana you can buy at Safeway or, or Walmart. <laughs> and then we have, what is this? A ball. The sweet rice ball that we make also. It's this chewy little doughy stuff. Yep. Of course, we have sugar and we have water. And Tana. this is a purple yam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to make it, I got the recipe from Pinterest, and I guess we have to boil or heat up the coconut milk with the water and then mix it with the sugar. I'm gonna be peeling this to cook it in the coconut milk, and then as soon as this and the banana, or the saba banana are done um, cooking, then we'll put in all the other ingredients, and it's pretty fast. So. So we're just cutting it in little cubes. You don't want it too big, but not too small, or else it's just gonna kind of get mushed up. That's mine. Yeah. You missed the one. Which one? This one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that one. This one, you're right. It needs yeah. to be smaller. All right. This one is not in shape like a cube. So after cubing the yam, we're gonna heat up the coconut milk, water, and sugar. So now we're gonna put a quarter cup sugar in there. Quarter, and then maybe just a tiny, 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 tiny bit of left. Just like that. Okay. There you go. Yeah. We're gonna cut the banana. So the good thing about these, they're frozen, so they're already pretty. They're cooked already. Uh, gotta cut them into tiny little pieces. Yes. Look at me, a banana. That's the last one. Mama? Yep. I'm going this way. Alright, good job, Hayden. Thank you. Look at Mama. The fog. Yep. The fog is getting mm, in my face. It smells good already. So we're just boil. waiting for this mixture to boil. The, co the coconut is boiling now. So now that the coconut is boiling, we're going to put in these purple yams. Yeah. For this, we're just gonna boil it until it softens up. It's kind of like a potato, so we just gotta cook it for a couple minutes until it gets soft. And one way that you'll know that it's softening up is this. It's gonna turn a purplish tint. Yeah. So we'll do that for about five minutes, and then we'll put in the banana because the banana is already cooked. So now the purple yam is cooked. I tested it. How'd you test it? I <laughs> took it out, was able to cut it with this soft little spatula, so that means it's cooked. So now we're gonna add these bananas in there. Good job, Hayden. And then we'll let it cook for maybe two minutes. Mix a bit. And then after two minutes, what else? Then after two minutes, we're gonna start throwing those rice balls in there. Yeah, I'll do that part. So next we're going to put in some of these tiny little rice balls. We're not going to put the whole bag in because we don't want to put too much. I'll help you, okay? Just a little, just enough. Well, like marshmallow. Yeah, they kind of do look like marshmallows. Okay, good. Mix. Mix. And I can see that the consistency is getting a little bit thick, so I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of water. Okay, mix.
Notice um, when I drop the balls in, they all stick to the bottom. But the way that you'll know that they're cooked is when they come up and float up on top. Tapioca, those little rice balls are starting to come up. See right over there? Meaning that they are almost cooked. So now we're gonna throw in the last ingredient, which is the tiny tapioca balls that I've pre-made for you already. Okay, ready? Yeah. And how did you prepare the tapioca balls? Bruh. So this is what? half a cup dry of the, ta the tiny tapioca pearl. You want to just boil it all. So at first, they, if you see the packaging, they were kind of little white little balls. And you want to boil them in water until they become clear and that there's no more white little ball in the middle. Don't touch the pot, all right? Okay. Skin. Oh, because he had all those bumps on his body? Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> How do you know when it's completely done? Oh, well, we're just gonna cook it for a couple of minutes until everything kind of mixes in together. Mama, this will still get my thicker hand is getting even, hot. After I, even after I remove it from the heat. So again, if it gets too thick, you want to just add a little tiny bit more water. Mom, why are you making it again? Get a ton. Get a ton. Taste All right, taste test. Good? Is it good, Hayden? Or was it too hot when she gave it to you? Okay. Mmm, it's done. Taste test, Daddy. Mmm. Yeah, it's done. So you know when it's done, the consistency is even throughout all the stuff that she put in the in the bowl, like the ball, the the tapioca balls, the banana, the yam. I don't know, I don't forget the other ingredient, but they're, if they're all mushy and the consistency is even throughout, it's it's done. And like she said that once it's done, it's gonna c continue to thicken up. So what, what happens is if later on you decide you wanna eat it and it's so thick, you just add a little bit of water and just throw it in the microwave and warm it up to your liking and it'll, it, it'll get all, um, it'll thin out. All right, that's it. Okay, you guys, that's it for making the ginnatan. You guys saw how quick and easy it was. It literally took maybe like 10 minutes. Once you get all the, the ingredients set up and ready, all you gotta really do is just throw it all in the, in the pot and wait till the consistency changes to like a nice soft and sticky throughout all the, the ingredients you put in there. It's pretty much done. Uh, give it a shot at your place and let us know how you like it. Until then, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Ooh, nice outfit, Junior. Bruh.